Hello children. How are you all? Yes. I hope you have finished reading the poem, Not Just a Teacher but a Friend. Today we are going to learn something new about this poem. Some angles of the poem. How to get marks in the poem, uh, in exam regarding this poem. Have you all tried out the poem? Reading that and recognizing all those characteristics of the poem. What are those? Yes, we discussed them. Rhyme and rhythm scheme. If you know that rhyming scheme and rhythm pattern, then it's very easy for you to construct a choreography. How many marks do you have for choreography in your exam? Yes, that is 10 marks. First, let me know, do you like writing a choreography? Do you feel it easy to write a choreography? Now, if no, I have an answer for you. If yes, I am here to re-energize and boost that one and I am here to add some more marks to your choreography. I am going to give you some more tips to write choreography and to gain marks in that choreography. Okay? Now, let's move on to that. What are the steps to write a choreography? So many of you might be thinking it's very difficult to write a choreography and then you move for conversation. In choice, you have conversation and choreography. So many of you tend to write that conversation because conversation is very easy. If you know some discourse markers, it is very easy to construct any sort of conversation and if you do so, just 5 to 6 marks you can gain out of 10 marks. Because you have to know all those uh, conversational discourse markers and at the same time, depending upon the conversation, you have to change those discourse markers. You have so many. And questions. You have to change so many questions according to that given conversation. But here in choreography, you have all the fundamental steps and you need not change those steps for uh, uh, poems. See, for example, according to the conversation, you have to change those question patterns. But here in choreography, you need not change any steps for that. Here, I am going to give you six simple steps for writing a choreography and while singing. Can't you believe? Yes, here I am children. To make your writing of your choreography very easy task, I am here with the uh, uh, singing pattern of a choreography. How to sing and write a choreography. Okay children, now we move on for that. Shall we go? Yeah. Now, see how many steps are there given? Title, theme, instances of the theme, stanza wise, location, characters, and sequence of actions. How many steps are there? Yes, only six simple steps are there. Can you sing that for me? Okay, I will. Now, title in the theme. Instances of the theme stanza wise, location, characters, and sequence of actions. These are the simple steps for the choreography. Do you know, children? These are the six simple steps for writing a choreography and for any poem any given poem only these are the steps you need not change any steps and the sequence of these steps now shall we sing it again title and the theme instances of the theme stanza wise location characters and sequence of actions these are the simple steps for a choreography have you ever heard of this song as I myself invented this song for you, you may not hear that elsewhere. Now, let me know one thing first. 
can you sing a song do you love singing a song do you love listening to a song whatever it may be if, if for these three questions your answer is yes then it's very easy for you and it's very advantageous very useful to you to write a choreography while singing a song okay now what's the title where do we get this title yes title is nothing but like a name for a movie name of your movie title is the name of the given poem in your exam or in any context title is nothing but a name and then theme what is the theme yes children what is a theme a story line on which it is written the poem is written that is the theme okay location and characters what is location location is nothing but where you want to present your choreography what type of ambience you need according to the poem that is location now our title is this one not just a teacher but a friend theme what is the main theme what's the main story on which our poem is based the theme is relationship between a teacher and a student as this as this title aptly suggests no need to go elsewhere for searching for the answer for this theme if you read the given poem once or twice or thrice maybe then you can easily uh, get access to this uh, poem and the main theme uh, mainly students gratitudes gratitude towards his teacher is expressed in the poem and how the student got inspired by his teacher how he adores his teacher how he loves his teacher how his memories are tied with his teacher that is the main theme in this poem now in stanzas of the theme stanza wise we already finished with title and the theme in stanzas of the theme stanza wise then what is the theme and what are the instances of the theme stanza wise first you have to identify how many stanzas are there in your poem of course not uh, up to the mark not line by line you need not divide those stanzas uh, like that but simply you see how many stanzas it will be see some poems are like prose we cannot identify where it starts and where it stops so you need not divide it bifurcate it into exact stanzas just for more convenience you can make it into some stanzas instances of the theme now instances what are instances there is nothing but evidence evidence means example how are you saying that this is the main theme how are the main uh, sub themes related to the main theme obviously the main theme main story from that only the sub story is created so in the stanzas also only related story will be there to the main theme main story so stanza wise you have to say what are the sub themes and in your first uh, sub theme in the first instance how we are saying the teacher and student's relationship is uh, uh, depicted in this poem how are you saying how are you able to say that one because in the first stanza i saw this evidence teacher teaches in the classroom and then the student enters the classroom with a very sad face why is he very sad that is there in the poem we discussed already the student is very sad due to so many reasons reasons are multiple maybe his financial state maybe his family problems maybe his uh, uh, friendship problems maybe he is a teenager so that he is facing some problems he has some problems with his study difficulty in understanding things 
and difficulty in making friends with others so many reasons are reasons are so many but this boy is very sad he comes to the class with a very sad face and other students laugh at him by seeing his attire by seeing his gestures all the other students laugh at him always they mock at him they tease him they bully him the teacher makes all the students quiet and turns towards the child and consoles him the teacher always stretches his helping hand towards this boy so he feels very safe and secure now the student being bullied by others he stays always aloof aloof means alone stays alone stay calm and he never shares anything with others he will be very quiet and calm and introvert now the teacher comes to the boy and slowly asks him about his well being and then the student feels very happy so these are the sub themes in the stanza so we can say that the main theme is the relationship between the teacher and the student so we can say like this these are the evidences in our stanzas now another thing is locations already we finished title and the theme in stanzas of the theme stanza wise locations what is the location what do you mean by location our locations we are doing one choreography already we discussed what is choreography there is a subtle difference between a choreography and a drama or skit or play in all those things we have dialogues to our characters whereas here in choreography we do not have any dialogues we have only actions chorus sings the song recites the poem then all the characters act in front of the audience that is what the little difference between these two but all the things are same similar to that we have some locations where actions are taking place where all the actions going that is what the location or setting we can say in dramas and plays we say that setting here we say the location we call it the location but both are same terms here according to our poem teacher and student where do they live usually yes where do they live together together they live in the school in the classroom so we need a classroom to perform our choreography and then an office room why do you need an office room yes teachers usually stay at office room after the classes after teaching their classes they go to the office room here in our poem the boy the student waits for some time for his teacher waits there outside the staff room so we need the staff room setting staff room location and then we need a school playground to create the ambience of school we need this school playground next what comes next here we need some characters again you sing the song in your mind title in the theme in stanzas of the theme stanza wise location characters what do you mean by characters yes already uh, we see them in our movies hero heroine the main actors and sub actors side characters villains or jokers we have so many likewise in our choreography also we need some main characters and we need some sub characters to act as chorus okay here mainly we have teacher the student and some other students to create the atmosphere of the classroom we need some other students otherwise we won't call it a classroom now other uh, teachers for creating the atmosphere of staff room or office room we can say 
Okay, these are the main characters and sub characters in our choreography. Now, here comes sequence of action. This is our last step for building a choreography. Sequence of actions. What is sequence? Yes, sequence is nothing but continuation of actions. You have some characters, you have some locations to uh, create that one, uh, create the atmosphere of your, uh, according to your theme. And now you are choosing the sequence of actions. Sequence means continuation of actions. What action comes first and what comes next. Okay, in scene one, here you have to divide your uh, whole actions into some scenes okay here you have to select wisely and judiciously so in scene one what happens first in every scene whatever the scene you are creating you have to write the chorus enters the stage to create first setting what is the first setting to create a classroom so they pose themselves as a classroom and some sit like students and some teacher, your uh, teacher character teaches in the classroom while the boy enters the classroom with a very sad face, with a gloomy face and then all other students. What should they do? They have to giggle at him, they have to mock and they're laughing at him and then uh, the teacher consoles the student. These are our sequence of actions in scene one okay now you have to write like this but remember one thing children you have to write them in simple present tense as you are constructing the choreography beforehand you are designing your uh, all your uh, scenes so you have to write it in simple present tense okay remember that other students google at him and then teacher comes to him and consoles this boy, this student. Okay, you are writing all these in scene 1. Then chorus exits the stage. Now, in scene 2 what happens? In scene 2 again, the student sits in a corner with a very sad face. Not mingling with any other. He is sitting alone and crying now this time he is crying and now the teacher finds him and encourages him and stops his crying and tries to know the reason behind his crying his sadness <coughs> Sorry. next the boy listens to the teacher with rapt attention and he tries to know his own positive things. The teacher encourages him to know, to draw out all the skills within him and so that the student become very much energized guy. That is what the scene you, you create in scene 2. Then scene 3. Of course, dividing that into scenes is up to you. That's your freedom, your liberty, according to your convenience and comfort and according to the poem, you can construct any number of scenes. But it's very good if you do not exceed five scenes. Okay, children, because you are presenting your choreography in front of your classroom. If it doesn't exceed five scenes, it will go on just in 20 to 25 minutes then it will be okay for you. Within a period, you can complete it. Okay, remember that. And note the point. Uh, in scene 3, what happens? The boy waits at the staff room to see his teacher. When the teacher doesn't come to his class, the student is very much uh, filled with anxiety. What happened to my teacher? Why didn't he come to my uh, class? And no one is there to talk to me. With these feelings, the boy waits in front of the staff room. He stands in front of the staff room. Then the teacher was. Uh, then the teacher um, seems busy with his own work. Then the boy is very much sad. Teacher slowly 
uh, raises her head and sees this boy. Then again the boy becomes very happy and some brightness comes to his face. His face is illuminated now. Why? Yes, teacher is only his best friend. He is not only a teacher but a friend too. So he is uh, uh, thinking his teacher as his friend, as his best friend. So without uh, a glance of his teacher, a day doesn't pass to this boy. That is what the bond between these two. We have to understand that. Then the teacher, when the teacher uh, raises his head and asks him, How are you my little boy? Only this question illuminates the boy's face. And he waits until the teacher comes on the following day. When the teacher leaves, the student looks at that direction. See, that is what the love and affection between this teacher and that student. So the student is very much thankful to his teacher for making him such a bright boy and such a bonding between these two like a god and a devotee, like a mother and her kid. That sort of relation is there. So when the teacher leaves for home, the boy sees with a very large hope within until the next day he sees him again. That is what uh, the bonding between these two. You, uh, what thing you have to do is while singing the song, you are writing all these steps. You are writing them, you are presenting them in a simple present tense. That is what the thing you have to mind it. And uh, okay, let's go on to the next one. Next slide. Yes, the first one. Title and the theme. Do you want me to sing the song again? Yes, title and the theme. Instances of the theme, stanza wise, location, characters, and sequence of actions. These are the simple steps for your choreography. Students, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, song and the poem too. Okay, now the thing you have to do is take one poem on your own from any class of any of your choice. Then try to construct a choreography by singing this song. Okay, children. Uh, with that hope of uh, you learned a lot today. Until I see you again. I hope you practice it very well. Bye bye, children.